Hello everyone, my name is Zhong Yang Zhang and I'm from UMass Amherst, CSS department. Today, I'm waiting to introduce my research, Hyperspectral Image Super-Resolution in Arbitrary Input-Output Band Settings. At first, let's take a look at the background. HSI is widely used in many computer vision tasks, as it provides more fine-grained spectrum information. However, it also suffers from a low spatial resolution problem. Therefore, super-resolve the HSI is an important task for us. In the meantime, HSI is a wide def definition. Different HSI cameras generate HSI with different settings, like different channel number and capturing range. How to use a unified model to do HSI super-resolution is also an urgent need. Here is an overview of our proposed MLSR. Briefly speaking, it not only takes a low-resolution HSI and high-resolution RGB as input, but also merges the input band information of each input and output band. This information contains each band's peak wavelengths and bandwidth. For the contribution of this work, we propose a new task which aims to do HSI super-resolution on different input-output band settings and aim to build a unified model for various HSIs. It only needs to be trained once, but it can achieve SOTA over existing methods which need retraining for all different settings. Also, we tested our model on many different patterns, like spectral interpolation, extrapolation, and even random input to high-resolution HSI for whole spectrum. This is the pipeline of our proposed network. Its highlights are SOFI, SOBER, and W2WNet. W2WNet is a hyper network which transforms the input or output band information into a convolution layer's weight. And this weight is used in SOFI and SOBER to merge the extracted band information with the corresponding feature maps. In this way, the network can handle various input and output HSI. As the related exact band information is taken into consideration in a proper way. For datasets, we train and evaluate MLSR on two popular and relatively large HSI datasets, Niger 2020 and ICVL. ICVL consists of three things, especially image inside the campus. On the other hand, Niger 2020 span is wider and it contains fruits, land, buildings, human, and even artworks. Here is the results, result comparison and visualization. The top left here is the ground truth, and the image under it is the corresponding RGB image. First row shows the predicted results for the same band by all methods, while the second row means the error map. It's clear that the error of our proposed MLSR is apparently less than other baseline methods. This page shows a massive comparison table of our methods and baselines. You can pause to see the detail. As the table shows, in most of the cases, our MLSR outperforms all baselines by a large margin. And the harder the problem setting is, the larger the difference is. More detail is introduced in the paper. In addition to our main experiment array, which utilized interpolation setting, we also tested our MLSR on extrapolation and random input setting. These two tasks apparently has less and irregular supervision, and the superiority is even more significant. As described before, harder the input setting is, better MLSR can do over the other baseline methods. Thank you.